September uh, 28, 2016. I'm on the second day of work on what will be Sightseeing with Dignity Human Rights Art Series Drawing Number 25. A dibujo numero 25. And it's going to be a double portrait. It's going to be vertical. And once the portraits are done, I'll be taking it up to the Burke. I'm planning on drawing a wing on her right shoulder, which will be viewer's left, coming up that way, which will flow into and around the wing coming out of his also right shoulder, viewer's left here. So they'll kind of intertwine. Uh, Fernando Brodsky was a uh, Argentinian young man murdered at age 24 um, by the military regime in uh, Argentina. He was Jewish also, among several thousand, I believe, Argentinian Jews who were among thousands more who uh, were murdered. Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared. He was on Desaparecido uh, in 1979. His uh, brother, I've read, is uh, an artist and uh, involved in human rights work dedicated in memory of his brother, Fernando, and others who uh, were murdered by the uh, military. And uh, Mora Clark was a married old sister, American. She was uh, raped and murdered, as were three other nuns in El Salvador. Actually, she was from Queens, New York, my home uh, hometown. She was murdered in uh, 1980 by uh, National Guard, and there was a big cover-up uh, by high-ranking high officers who had been trained, actually, by the United States military. Several of those officers were later granted uh, a permanent residency in the United States. Anyway, um, the first day I did the uh, kind of pencil outline and the uh, ink wash backgrounds. Today, uh, second day, I've started the uh, ink drawings to be continued. Uh, October 2nd here, 2016. So here are the portraits as they look after they were finished. This is pre-wings drawing. And I don't know whether I'm going to want to have the work when it's finished, assuming it turns out. And after it's framed, if I'll want to have it exhibited vertically or horizontally. And vertically, of course, could be, as we see here, like this. Or it could be like that, or horizontally like that, or like that. I suppose part of that decision may be made by uh, gallery directors for space reasons. Vertically, of course, takes less space than horizontally. Anyway, to be continued, um, still have the same plan. A wing coming up on his right shoulder on viewer's left, interwoven with a wing coming up from her right shoulder on viewer's left and kind of intertwining. All right, next uh, segment will be at the uh, Burke Museum with the actual wings I've chosen and then uh, the drawing of those wings in progress, which will probably take at least several day-long uh, visits. Uh, it is uh, October 19, 2016. I am in the Ornithology Lab at the Burke, so I've got wings uh, selected for the uh, drawing of uh, uh, Marinol's sister, Maura Clark, and um, Argentinian uh, military victim, uh, Fernando Brodsky. Both of the wings are from Argentina, and they were chosen for... Okay, so we got what you need? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All righty then. Okay. Um, thanks. Yeah. Um, these are chosen more for uh, kind of composition 
part composition, more kind of coloration reasons. Uh, this wing here, particularly with this iridescent green, works nicely to me with the uh, with the uh, this kind of pale greenish background I did on the drawing of uh, Fernando. Uh, the wing is from is titled looks like Latin Amazon. Amazonetta Brasiliensis, round wing Argentina Provincia de Entre Rios, 30 miles southwest of Victoria. I have to look and see where that was. Uh, I guess from either bird found on May 15, 2014, or brought back at that date. I'm not sure which. The wing on uh, Sister Mary Clark. Um, Buteo Magnir Ostris, uh, Tucumán, San Miguel de Tucumán, 25 kilometers four, south, 40 kilometers west, Route 307. I'm not sure uh, where. Oh, well, I guess those are kilometer distances from wherever San Miguel de Tucumán is. I have to look that up. Round wing, I think the collection staffer told me it was from a hawk. So we shall see how this proceeds. I'm just doing the, I've got an hour and a half now uh, time slot to do the, kind of get the beginning of the pencil. I'll probably come back to work on the pencil and then in a subsequent visit I'll begin doing the inking. Or right. hour and uh, 15 minutes later. I see this is going to be a multi day's um, drawing operation here. I've got the outline in and uh, on both and just a, a wee bit as they would say in Scotland of uh, the uh, feathering there and a bit more on hers and to be continued. October uh, 24th, 2016 I added uh, gold ink underlay here and this is be the second day of drawing on the uh, uh, drawing of wings I'm just gonna today be working from the uh, wing from this hawk from Argentina and uh, I'm gonna complete the uh, pencil and then uh, time permitting, I will uh, begin going in with ink. 